Butter my bread. Butter my bread. Spread that sourdough. Obtain the grain. Mmm. Mmm. A6. Yes. This video is not a video from Seth James Damore. This is just a tribute. This video is a shoe review of the Nusa Tri-14 in the styles of Seth James Damore, who recently retired from daily vlogging. Seth was a big influence on my running journey, which started at the age of 40 when the pandemic hit, hence the name Midlife Runner. And he was also an inspiration in starting this YouTube channel, which I really got going last October. Once upon a time, I used to make cringy straight to Walmart and Redbox videos. But now I have a real job and I make cringy straight to YouTube running videos. So without further ado, let's hop back into this SJD vlog in true SJD fashion. Did I leave my camera in here? Hey Henry, how's your day? Pretty good so far. Mm -hmm. Hey Dad, mm -hmm. who's Henry? Um, I don't know. Do you have any other questions? Yes, where do babies come from? Ask your mom. She said to ask you. Son, let me tell you about the Riz. Do you have any other questions? Yes, actually I do. Where do babies come from? <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Okay, so I am driving to a relative of mine, Mother Nature. We today we are going to be <laughs> running with family, running, running with family. Uh, but first, after I stop by Starbucks for a dark roast. Oh, we're gonna stop for dark roast. Nine miles in the books in the A6 Trinusa 14. All right, back to the studio. In for review, the A6 Nusa Tri 14 right there, right there, right there. Now, for, for those of you who are new to the channel, um, we do shoe reviews and I use a 10 scale for the upper, the midsole, the outsole. We use a 10 scale, however, however, I have actually never given a shoe a 10 in any category, okay, what, what's whatsoever. N like not even once. Let's get into the upper. Now for the fit, it's a little long, okay, A6, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a little long. And A6 shoes can be like this sometimes. Now I have gone a half size down before and it's a little too tight. So I just take my standard men's US size 9 USA. USA and I just do this racers loop see right here this racers loop. I'll make a video on it I'm sure it'll get a million views upper score 7.863154 Under the midsole mm. Mm. A6 yes, so juicy so peppy uh, I really enjoy the energy return in this shoe. And also, I'm really enjoying the, there's like a subtle roll through that you get here with this shoe. This shoe is stable, okay guys? Uh, and it's so stable that if, if Gary Busey ran in it, suddenly he would make sense. Now in a world of 
soft and super comfortable shoes that have big stack heights. Okay, SC Trainer, Adidas Prime X. Where, where is it? Where? Yeah, the Adidas Prime X right there. Uh, this shoe will feel like a firm ride, which I don't mind. I like I like firm shoes. Okay, because we got 30 millimeters in the heel and 25 in the forefoot for a five millimeter. Drop. Final score for the midsole is an 8.863245170. Honda the outsole. Okay, I've got a little bit of wear here, A6. Um, you know, after not a whole lot of miles. So I'm gonna give it a pretty pretty standard score here on the outsole. I'm gonna go with the 7.00000001. Okay, how will I use this shoe going forward? Tweener alert. Tweener alert, uh, daily miles, if I'm being honest, daily miles, uh, about six to eight miles a day, maybe nine, and tempo. Yeah, frankly, yeah, tempo. Because look, it, sa it, it says it in the shoe. All right, uh, we got 10K efforts written in <laughs> written into the shoe. So yeah, tempo runs. Will I use the shoe for triathlons? Will I use the shoe for triathlons? Uh, no, absolutely not. No. Uh, sorry, Taryn. I'm just, that's, you know, uh, you know me, mountain guy. Other shoes to buy. We've got the Brooks Hyperion Tempo. I believe I have it somewhere over here. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah. So now the Tempo is a little bit more narrow than the Trinusa, but they, they both have this stability here in the forefoot and you know, in my opinion, yeah, oh, okay, yeah. The Brooks is a little bit faster, but uh, I still feel like it's very comparable, right? The second option is the Saucony Endorphin Speed 3. And for the, the same reasons, the, the platform, the stability kind of on the forefoot and the ability to pick up the pace. Now, unpopular opinion, um, because of the foam in the forefoot here, uh, I, I would go with the Trinusa 14. I said it. I said it, I say it all the time, okay? On this channel, beholden to no one. Beholden to no one. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm beholden to no one. Okay, and lastly, if we wanna stay inside the A6 lineup, we're gonna roll with the Nova Blast 1. Here we are. Now, the Trinusa has less bounce and is more stable than the Nova Blast 1, but, the Chinusa is equally as fun and enjoyable of a ride for me, for me, okay? And, uh, and, and it is more aesthetically pleasing to the eye. So if I've done all of my math correctly, uh, this shoe adds up to a 10 or really like a 7.5. Question of the day, how many uh, Academy Awards does Meryl Streep even have at this point? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, and the comment of the day goes to Midlife Runner. He says, hey Seth, you were the first runner I found on YouTube during the pandemic. I love your videos as I have learned so much as a beginner. I love the inclusion of family. Thank you for all the work you put in. As a dad of three myself, I know how much work is required outside of just running. You're a kind spirit and you deserve all you have sown. Thank you, Medlife Runner. Okay, we're gonna toss it to a video. I'll put it right there, right there, right there. And I will end this video by saying what I say at the end of all my videos, which is work hard, love each other, seek beauty.